Come with me. Let me show you one of the most spectacular civilizations of all human history. This is Petra. I'm Yazid, and I'll be telling you the story of the Rose City. At the heart of a major regional trading hub, the Nabataeans settled here between 3rd and 1st century BC. Their most iconic creation was the treasury. We believe it was carved as a mausoleum for a dead king. Look at the urn in the middle. Last century, locals shot at it, believing it concealed treasure. On both sides of the tomb, you can see the footholds of the craftsmen who created this glorious facade. Two thousand years ago, if you fancied some culture, you definitely want to come here. It's really hard to believe, but around 8,000 people could cram into this theater. The locals may have performed their own plays, Greek tragedies, there might have been some music, some comedy, jugglers, even weddings. But the truth is, we really don't know. Imagine this colonnaded street, buzzing with street sellers and shopkeepers, packed with customers bargaining and bartering for a fair price. This is the courthouse. Qabr al Jarrah, one of the four royal tombs used for the Nabataean kings. If you look towards the top of this building, over there, you can see three small burial chambers. The one in the middle, where the pigeons are, still has the closing stone intact. It's also worth checking your left. Check out the beautiful Jorit Portico. And hey, don't forget to look behind you. Petra ended, not because of conquest, but because new trade routes simply made it commercially irrelevant. The desert reclaimed the city and it lay undisturbed for hundreds of years, waiting to be rediscovered. <laughs>